defense is five days from the end of the four days? Uh, we're ready. Um, obviously, we're still working on things, and uh, we still are trying to get better and improve. But we have our game plan set, and uh, now we're just going out to the practice field and trying to execute and watch more film and uh, try to pick up on some things that they might do tendency-wise. But we're ready. We're excited. What makes you think this year's defense can be better than, than last year's? Uh, I just think Coach Bryant and his staff has done a great job with us. And I think a lot of guys um, are having – I mean, we're having fun out there playing and we enjoy who we're playing for. And um, you know, uh, we, we have a uh, close bond with the guys on defense. A lot of us hang out together. Uh, we have three starters back in the secondary, I think three or four defensive linemen back and our linebackers. So we have a lot of experience, and uh, we're just having fun out there. I think this defense is probably lacking is that one playmaker that you know, every game you kind of have to game plan for. Who, I mean, do you have a guy that this year that could be that guy? I mean, we all want to be that guy. I don't think we have one specific guy that's set out like that's your job. but. Uh, we all know we want to make as many plays as we can, and uh, especially on the back end, uh, like I was saying, I think we have the most experience back there. And uh, Coach Zordage and Coach Davis have done a good job with us. We've been doing a lot of drills and all that. Um, so I guess you could say it's our responsibility, but uh, no one really, everyone wants to make a play, and we're all out there to make plays. What kind of threats does uh, Illinois pose from offensively? Uh, they have a good offense. Their running backs are good. Um, they're a high tempo offense. They snap the ball every 16 to 18 seconds. So that in itself is a challenge uh, for a defense. And we, we've been out there practicing, trying. But there's nothing like that game time tempo that you can kind of get used to in practice. So that's a challenge in itself. And uh, uh, they have a good quarterback there, the wide receiver. They have a good offense. Their offense is very good. And uh, like I said, that tempo is just, it's serious. So we're, we got to get ready for that. Is it tough to get a read on them, Don? They have a new quarterback. First game of the year, you don't. Yeah, I mean, we have last year's film to uh, kind of go off of. But, um, you know, we watch all that and try to see what they have. But they lost, I think, their top three receivers statistically from last year. And that's hard. But they have their running back back. Um, they have a lot of their offense line back. So, yeah, it's hard to kind of get a gauge on what they do. But we have last year's film that we go off of. Do you, do you like this type of game? Last year, Michigan State was game three. Do you like this type of team right out of the game. Uh, it really doesn't matter to me. It was fun playing at home last year, opening up uh, on a Thursday night in front of our home fans. But, yeah, this game's fun. Um, it was different, actually, last year going to Michigan State Week 3 because I've been used to opening up with the big school. But um, it will be fun this year to go there. We went there. Uh, we saw their indoor when we played Southern Illinois last year, I think. Uh, so their stadium looked nice. I mean, everything's – so we're excited to play there. What, what about the 11 o'clock start? I think the last time you played one of those was maybe a movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've been getting up, though, all summer. I mean, we've been working out. I know the defense, we've been in here about 6 a.m. all summer, and then one camp started. Um, we had to get up for that at 7.30. They woke us up every morning. So we're used to waking up early. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a problem for any of us. What do you like about these games? I mean, what do they do for this program? Uh, I mean, it's a chance to put our program on the map. If we go out there and uh, – compete with them or have a chance to beat them, then, I mean, that's on ESPN. A lot of, like, recruits can see that and all that because, obviously, we're not, you know, the big-time BCS programs of college football. But um, so it's just it's fun for us to go out there, especially in front of all those people in the big stadium, be able to play on national TV. Uh, it's an experience. I remember my freshman year, that was my first college football game ever at Penn State. Uh, I mean, I'll never forget that. And now these young guys get a chance to experience the same thing I went through. And it's just fun for our whole program. Was there – you were here when they beat Pitt. Was yes. Is there any uh, lesson you've been trying to teach the younger defensive players on when you're playing the bigger schools? Uh, I mean, I just tell them they put their stuff on the same way we do. Uh, yeah, they're, you know, the Big Ten school, but they're football players too. And at the end of the day, we got to go out there and execute. Um, no, I just kind of give them some tips that, you know, you're going to be nervous. It's part of the game. I was, I mean, I still get nervous a little bit before every game. I think if you don't, then something's wrong with you. But uh, I tell them they just got to relax. And after the first play, uh, they'll realize they're just playing football again.